In this video, we're going to be creating pages, and we're going to be using the page.php file and the frontpage.php file. And these two documents are WordPress recognized documents. If we go out to the documentation, and you'll be able to find this link down in the description. If you go down there, you just click on that link and you'll find this page. And then just navigate down to template file list. And here are the two pages that we're going to be using in this video. The front page.php file. And we'll be setting that up towards the end of this video. But we'll start off with the page.php file. And this is going to handle our default pages. So if we go to our front end, and right now we currently have two pages. So let's go and click on the home page. And as you can see, our index page is handling that, and we don't want that. We want the page.php file to handle it. And as you, as you can see, it looks like a post right now, and we don't want that. We want it to look like a normal home page. So that's what we're going to do. First thing is create the page.php file. So let's go into the code editor and start on that. So like we did in the prior videos, we're just going to create this right at the root. So new file, page.php. And then it's going to be pretty similar to our index page. So I'm just going to copy all this, control A, control C, and just throw that right in our page.php file. Okay, great. So now we have something that will handle all our pages. So now we could really customize this page the way we want it. So uh, let's say, for example, the pagination, we can get rid of that. And then uh, the class here, let's change this so we can style this a little different than our post. So I'm just gonna call this pages, that'd be fine. And then this, I'm just gonna have temporarily call this page.php. And then we're gonna actually style that a different color pretty soon. And then this, like, um, this is a really good way of doing it, but for now, I'm just gonna get rid of it and just throw the content function in there for now. So PHP. Okay, great. And then let's leave the sidebar in there for now. I, I'm thinking about the landing page or the front page removing this. But for here, we'll just keep this on our standard pages. So let's save this document. Now all we need to do is just add a couple styles to this. And then uh, we could test it out on the front end and see if this is working. So let's go into our style sheet. And I'm just going to throw a couple styles like we did in prior videos, like a border and rename that H1 tag, I think it was, or what is that? Yeah, the H1 tag. Okay, great. So nothing special here. I just added a border to that pages we created, and to the H1, I just added a color. So just save that. And let's go and test this in the browser and see what it looks like. Let's go click on one of our pages. Okay, great. So the page.php file is kicking in and it's handling our home page, and that's great. And that should work on the sample page too. So now let's say, for example, you want your home page to be the default landing page. Let's say we go back to the root. In my case, it's localhost double P. And here at the root, we're getting the blog page or the post page. And let's say you want the home page to show up at the root instead of the post page. WordPress has a setting for that in the dashboard. So if we go into the dashboard and we could change that in the settings and then go to reading. And right here you could go and select static page and then the front page home. Now we could also create another page and we'll do that actually right now. We'll create a blog page. So let's just save this. And let's just go to the front, make sure this is working. So now if we refresh it, we should get the home page. Okay, great. So now at our root, we're getting the home page. So now let's go back to the settings and let's go create a brand new page and we'll call it blog page, or you can name it whatever you want. So blog, and that's all you really need to do. Just publish that. And let's not forget to add it to our menu. So I'll just go to parents menus, click on that. And here's the blog page and you want to add it to your main menu and uh, just click on that add to menu and i'm just going to put it as a second one all right great and then just save the settings now we're going to go back to settings and then go into reading click on that now here we could go and select our post page and we'll select that new page we just created blog and then make sure you save the settings all right, great. So let's go back to our front end and let's go and uh, refresh it. We should have a blog link now. All right, click on that. And there's our blog page. All right, so now if we go back to the home page, 
So now let's say we want a landing page when they first come to the, the our page, we want a certain custom page for that. Well, WordPress gives us another page for that. And if we go back to here, that is the front page.php right here. So let's go back to our code editor and create that and I'll show you what this does. So let's go open up the code editor. So at the root, we're gonna create another file and call it front page.php. And it's important that you name it correctly because WordPress is gonna recognize this document and also store it at the root. Okay, great. And I'm just gonna go and copy this. It's gonna be pretty similar to the, our page.php. So just uh, select all this, copy that. And we're just gonna to toss that right in here. So now this page is gonna be used on our home page instead of this page now. And that's really great because all our other pages could have like a sidebar, for example, and it could be a little bit different. And then we could really customize our home page, and that, that'd be really good. So like let's say in this case, our front page now, we could get rid of the sidebar. Maybe we could add some static HTML here. Let's say a P tag or whatever, like customize it. Okay, great. And then uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and, and change this over to front page. And also let's do this, the style too, the or the class, so front page. And let's go into the style sheet and target this, copy that. And I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna add a border and then add some color to the H1, like a different color. Okay, great. So I just did the exact same thing as I did up here, just added a border color and changed the color of the H1. So just save that. And don't forget to save the front page. And then if we go back to the front and test this out. Now, instead of getting the uh, page.php, we're gonna get the front page.php. So let's go and click on the home page, and that page should kick in. Okay, great, so now we're using that. So now we can really customize our front page and make it different than our other pages. And if we go and click on our sample page, this should be using the old one the page.php. Okay, great. So that's how you use these two documents. So the next thing we'll move on to is custom pages in the next video. So I'll see you then.